Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is descriptive statistic with the subtopic normal probability distribution. Now what are the properties, uses, divergence from normally, skewness and courtesies? Let's discuss, let's see the introduction, let us understand the main concept that is normal probability curve with an example. Suppose we take variables like height or weight or psychological variables like intelligence or emotional intelligence and we measure the same across a large population, we are likely to obtain a graph which will indicate that the maximum scores lie in the middle of the distribution and lower scores at the extremes. With regard to height, for example, there will be more persons with average height and few persons who are taller or shorter compared to the average. So, and uh, when this data is plotted on a graph, we will get a normal curve as we can see, we can be seen in the, it can be seen in the figure here. These extremes are maybe taller or smaller, average people come under this category that is average. This is the normal curve we say, normal distribution. Now concept of probability, the term probability refers to chance or likelihood. That, For example, if you say that it will probably be hot tomorrow or probably the teacher might not come tomorrow. The sentences reveal that there are chances for the events to occur tomorrow but there is no certainty. Definitely that will occur, we cannot say. This means that the events mentioned in the above examples are not certain to happen. Then they cannot in either or chances here. There is a probability we can say. They may, they may not. Now a question that might bother is what is research and statistics to do with probability? Now the probability of an event to occur due to certain reason helps the researchers to formulate hypothesis to continue with research and experiments, obviously. Now, it serves as a baseline for the researchers to start as well as conclude their research. When we start with the stat, uh, uh, collecting the observations and raw data, we give the statistical treatment and we can plot them on a graph. It will be presentable and easily at a glance we can understand the things of comparison. It is relevant in science and investigation and is also important in finance, gambling, artificial intelligence, mathematicians and game theory. Now, researchers can draw conclusions on basis of probabilities here. In simple terms, probability refers to the chance, possibility or likelihood of an event to occur. In statistics, the term probability refers to the expected frequency that is chance of occurrence of an event among all possible similar events. Now, the expected frequency of the occurrence of the event is based on knowledge or information about the conditions determining the occurrence of the event or phenomena. Now, for example, if you toss a coin in air, there is an equal chance of head or tail to appear. Obviously, we cannot say exactly, but there is a chance it can come tail or head. Thus, the probability that head or tail will appear when a coin is tossed in air is half to appear. Similarly, a die that is singular of dice has six sides with dots ranging from one to six. Now, when we throw the dice, when we play the Ludo or something, snakes and ladders, we throw the dice. So, the probability of a die to show any of its side is 1 by 6th, that is chance, because 6 numbers are there. So, there is a chance of 1 by 6th. Normal probability distribution, a continuous probability distribution for a variable is called as normal probability distribution or simply normal distribution. It is also known as Gaussian or Gauss or Laplace Gauss distribution. The normal distribution is determined by two parameters, 
mean and variance the normal distributions are used to represent the real valued random variables whose distributions are unknown so they are used very frequently in the areas of natural sciences and social sciences when the normal distribution is represented in form of a graph it is known as normal probability distribution curve just what we have seen the curve normal probability that is like this there is a chance of average higher here maybe lower or higher ranges so a normal curve is a bell shaped curve bilaterally symmetrical and is continuous frequency distribution curve such a curve is formed as a result of plotting frequencies of scores of a continuous variable in a large sample now the curve is known as normal probability distribution curve because its y ordinates provides relative frequencies or the probabilities instead of the observed frequencies now a continuous random variable can be said to be normally distributed if the histogram of its relative frequency has shape of a normal curve as represented in the below figure you can see this is the normal distribution curve when we plot the frequencies generally it falls like this bell shaped curve symmetrical now properties let's see here as discussed earlier the representation of normal distribution of random variable in graphic form is known as normal probability distribution curve the following are the properties of the normal curve it is or just now we have seen a bell shaped curve which is bilaterally symmetrical and has continuous frequency distribution curve it is a continuous probability distribution for a random variables it has two halves right and left and the value of mean median and more are mode are equal mean equal to median equal to mode that is they coincide they coincide at the same point at the middle of the curve the normal curve is uh, asymptor uh, asymptotic that is it approaches but never touches the x axis as it moves farther from the mean the mean lies in the middle of the curve and divides the curve into two equal halves the total area of the normal curve is within z plus 1 plus or minus 3 standard deviation below and above the mean the area of unit under the normal curve is said to be equal to 1 that is n equal to 1 standard deviation is 1 then variance is 1 and mean is 0 at the points where the curve changes from curving upward to curving downward are called inflection points the z scores are the standard scores in npc normal probability curve towards the right from the mean are positive and towards the left from the mean are negative now above 68% of the curve are area falls within the limit of plus or minus we can see the picture also here here you can see normal probability curve here you can see minus values here it is the mean plus value standard deviation 68.26% chances of occurring like this it splits into two halves and this one and this one forming the bell shaped curve as we have seen now uses of f normal distribution the as discussed sorry uh, uses of normal distribution curve as discussed earlier the normal distribution plays a very significant role in the fields of natural science and other social sciences some of the relevance of the normal distribution are described below the normal distribution is a continuous distribution and plays significant role in statistical theory and inference the normal distribution has various mathematical properties which makes it convenient to express the frequency distribution in simplest form it is a useful method of sampling distribution many of the variables in behavioral sciences like weight height achievement intelligence have distributions approximately like the normal curve 
normal distribution is a necessary component for many of the inferential statistics like z test t test and f test now let's see the divergence from normality that is skewness and kurtosis many times the frequency curve may be more peaked or flatter than the normal probability distribution curve in such cases the distribution is said to have diverged from normality basically these divergences are of two types that is kurtosis and skewness kurtosis is a measure of tailedness of the probability distribution of a random variable in other words it is a measure that is heavy tailed or light tailed in relation to normal distribution that is kurtosis on the other hand skewness is a measure of asymmetry of the probability distribution of a random variable about its mean let's let us discuss both the divergences one by one here kurtosis kurtosis deals with the tails of distribution curve and not its peak just now we have seen already here like this so kurtosis deals with the tails here not with the peak it does not refer to the height of the curve kurtosis can be quantified in various ways for a particular distribution the kurtosis of any variable in normal distribution is 3 this value is used for comparison with respect to the other types of kurtosis the kurtosis is classified as follows you can refer the picture here three types of kurtosis you can see here positive that is leptokurtic negative that is platykurtic then normal distribution that is mesokurtic let's understand these three here leptokurtic or leptokurtic in a leptokurtic distribution the frequency curve is narrower than the npc and the area of the curve shifts towards the center and has longer tails at both the ends you can see her leptokurtic this one leptokurtic usually they are referred to as positive kurtosis in which the value of distribution has heavier tails than the normal distribution now mesokurtic that is a mesokurtic curve is not too flat or not too peaked and in a way resembles normal curve now platykurtic that is this curve refers to the distribution having more and less extreme outliers than does the normal distribution usually they are referred to as negative kurtosis in which the value of distribution has lesser or fewer tails or outliers then the normal distribution the curve in the platykurtic is flatter when compared with the normal curve now kurtosis can be computed with the help of the following formula you can see here kurtosis equal to q divided by p90 minus p10 ku is kurtosis q is quartile deviation then p90 90th percentile p10 that is 10th percentile when the kurtosis value is computed with the help of the above formula the value for normal curve is obtained as 0.263 if the value obtained is below 0.263 then the curve can be termed as leptokurtic and if the value is above 0.263 then the curve can be termed as platykurtic platykurtic now skewness as informed to you earlier that in npc the mean median and mode coincide together fall at the same point and have equal values in a skewed distribution the mean median and mode fall at different points in the distribution and the center of gravity is shifted to one side now let's see the positive skewness a distribution curve is said to be positively skewed when the distribution or of scores are more at the left and refer to the let's see the figure here in a positively skewed distribution more individuals obtain scores that are less than the mean here you can see positive skewness here then negative skewness and then symmetrical distribution here you can see the positive here coming down this side 
opposite to that is the negative skewness so let's see the negative skewness on the on the other hand if the distribution of the scores fall more towards the right side the distribution is said to be negatively skewed the median here is greater than the mean and that is why the mean lies to the left of the median here more individuals obtain scores that are higher than the mean now skewness can be computed with the help of the following formula here sk is skewness m is mean md is median sd is standard deviation so you can also see here there is another formula to compute skewness that is used when the information about percentiles is available sk skewness p90 90th percentile p10 10th percentile p50 50th percentile so we come to the end of this session if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below thanks for your attention and time happy learning